happens all the time. But how would you, as a youth leader, human values teacher, uh, explain this to children? I think take it from especially me. new, yeah. you know, new devotees. Yeah. You know, those who know Jagat, uh, son, uh, you will say that it's a uh, very, very beautiful soul, very nice soul. Uh, we're very close and uh, we used to... You will never get a nicer person than that person. Huh? Uh, but later in life, he, managed, he, he got this uh, illness and it was diagnosed late. But put it this way, in the grand scheme of life, huh? if a soul karmically has to go through that, okay, uh, in God's point of view, because Ramakrishna Paramahamsa was one of the greatest devotees, well, but he died of cancer as well. Oh, okay. so did Ramana Maharishi. So, 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 yeah. yeah. so souls have to go through this. Now, imagine now, if the Divine Master, in all compassion, if a soul has to go through this kind of pain and has to go through karmically this thing, he would have chose, if he chose that soul to go through a father who was uh, weak in faith, weak in strength, weak in uh, what you call conviction, uh, Today the father and the mother, if the parents were alive, would be psychologically damaged and completely a neuro, a neuro wrecked. They will never be able to stand up after that particular incident. Definitely, because it is a... Only a hero can. Yeah. Oh, no, it's... Yeah. Only and a hero can. can. It's a crushing thing, you know. It's of course. Completely crushing. That's fact, the truth. That's, you, the truth. You, that's the truth. And, and you, yeah, even for us to see this and then to go and see a look, uh, it was very painful for us also to even to explain that this thing has happened uh, to the father. So I can, we can imagine the agony of the father, but you see, in the, in the grand scheme of life, the soul in the compassionate nature of the master, if he has to pass a soul through this world and he has to experience this, then it is best that he, that soul be passed through a, a father who has got strength, conviction, that he knows that he can overcome and come across that. Because he needs to, what the grand scheme, the soul must go through, you see. It is better to go through such an individual who is able than then the Jagger rose up like that. So in the proper perspective of things, uh, the teacher has done what he should do. And perhaps this soul will go back and then he will evolve and he will reach where he should reach. But perhaps this is a stage for his own karmic evolution. He has to go through this particular phase. Thank you. Now in conclusion, uh, Brother Tatu Jagadisa, what would you tell a universal audience, international audience, we don't know how many millions of these listening to this, in conclusion, what would you say and what would you say? I'll start with you first. I think ultimately uh, the stories that have been told to us, uh, all are expressed at a personal level. Uh, if you have faith, tragedies will happen. But don't be happy in spite of all the things that happens in life. Not be happy because of this has happened, this has happened, the, the challenges are there in the world. But faith in Swami must be 100%, total 100%, and let go, learn to let go. Because if you let go, you will have lots and lots of time to do the things that you want to do. Uh, because if you don't let go, you'll be operating in this world from an ego standpoint. From an egoistic standpoint, the mind will have to function. Through the mind, if you function, what's going to happen? You will deplete a lot of your energies and time. If you all go to office, you'll have to spend more number of times accomplishing the same task. But if you learn to let go, you will operate from the inner self, which means to say you'll spend lesser time, it will be more proficient, it will be more efficient, you can accomplish everything in this world. And that is a lifestyle that we want to lead. Uh, the youth must learn to have a, what we call a multi-dimensional existence. Swami has said a horse can run, but a horse cannot fly, a fish can swim, a fish cannot run. A bird can fly, but a bird cannot swim. An animal can only do one thing, one thing well. That is why it's called an animal. But a human being, because he's a human being, he can do everything and anything. And that is why he's the crown of creation. But having been born as a crown of creation, and if you're only going to dissipate your entire life by just meeting, mating, meeting, breeding, brooding, and dying, then the, uh, the, uh, the vision of the avatar, no, the relevance of the avatar in our lives will not be that great. Thank you very much. And brother... In conclusion, what have you got to tell the universal audience? Understand one thing. That the Hindus say life you know, is an ocean of samsara. Why they call ocean? Because of the waves. You know. Someone says, Jaga, I never swim in the ocean. No, the waves are here. It's up and down, up and down of thoughts, you know, sorrow, for happiness, sorrow, victory, defeat, goes on and on and on. Okay? Now you become a Baba devotee. Or a devotee, not a devotee of Christ or whoever, suddenly you come to and you're saying now, God, now I've become a devotee of Baba. I sing bhajans, I do seva. And now therefore, because I'm doing all this board for you, because Maya, for you, therefore you must still the waters of the ocean. The God will say, no, my son, I cannot still the waters of the ocean. Why then? Then what's the point of me praying to you then, if you can't still the water of the ocean? Uh -huh. You see, I can't still the water of the ocean, but I can give you a life belt. I 
give a life belt so that the big waves come and slams you down, you will not sink, you know. Okay. Oh, okay, where's the life belt? Oh, sorry, son, I forgot to tell you one more thing. You've got to make the life belt yourself. I give you a how to make book. How to do book, make it yourself. So where's the book? Give me the book. Hey, I gave you the book long ago. Where? The Bible is the how to do book. The Quran is how to do book. The Bhagavad Gita is how to do book. Dhammapada is how to do book. So what do you mean? Very simple. How do you make a life belt? A life belt is made basically of three components, you know. Rubber, fabric, and thread. They make life belt. Likewise, my son, I the light the the the, 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 the the material I give you is this. Number one, bhakti, devotion is the rubber. The seva is the fabric. And meditation, the quiet in your mind, is the thread that will combine all together. But that's not enough, son. All that thing you buy. But whereas in the real life life belt, the air you got to pump in, okay? But air I give you free now. Because once you make this life belt of bhakti, devotion, service, and meditation to calm the mind, not meditation like the yogis do, simply to calm the mind, then the last one, jnana yoga, karma bhakti yoga, karma yoga, dhyana yoga is there. Jnana yoga, knowledge, I give you free. That will set you free. It is knowledge that will set you free. The knowledge of how you survive in this world. I give the letter. And therefore, dear, the message is dear, understand this. Just because we bow to your teacher, he doesn't cancel everything else. See, imagine now, the other analogy I, I give to the world is this. You're, you're, you're swirling in a hurricane, you know, hurricane, hurricane. And you're swirling, God, God, stop this hurricane, stop this hurricane. I can't wait. Hey, my son, I cannot. Why? Because you caused the hurricane. Right? You made the hurricane. I didn't do the hurricane for you. How can I cancel something you're so carefully cultivated over so many lifetimes, you know, even this lifetime? Then what's the use of praying to you? Again, logic question, logic question. Very good. I teach you, son, how to stand in the eye of the hurricane. I teach you to stand in the eye and watch the drama of life. Learn that secret. Today, brother, in my life, that's what Baba has taught me. He has taught me how to make this life belt. And I'm using that. He has taught me how to stand the eye of the hurricane. I tell you, brother, even as I stand the eye of the hurricane, sometimes a hand will come and smash you. And you'll fall on your feet. Okay? You'll fall. The invisible hand coming, like, like when my wife passed away and all this, I stood the hurricane immediately again. The sun, and I'm standing there, suddenly this hand came and smashed me, you know, from back. And tell the truth, I fell on my knees. But, you know, the, some of